Brian Kirsch from Big K Horror Fan, playing in traffic again, looking for something cool to do, and what the hell? This is cool. Adam Bartlett, Joe Belknap, and John Potta from the amazing apocalyptic disaster film, Dead Weight. It's worth uh, fighting traffic to get to. The thing that's most horrifying to me about this whole situation, these very dapper looking, well tattooed gentlemen are all straight. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but their film was amazing. Guys, how did this start? I was working with John. I was also working some other boring job and I, at that other boring job, I'd write down little story ideas. I proposed one to John one day and John's like, oh, cool. We're like, well, screw it. Let's just write this thing. And John, who's well known for the amazing short zombie comedy, better off undead. What was it like to go from a short to this amazing hour and a half long masterpiece? Well, one of the big differences was just the First off, masterpiece? I said it. Thank you, Brian. Okay. <laughs> uh, big difference was the quality of the production. Better Off Undead was 700 bucks. We shot on the weekend for about five months, you know, when we could shoot. And it was just friends having fun. You know, we really didn't know what we were doing. Not saying that we knew everything that we were doing on Dead Weight. But here we went from $700 filming on the weekends to a seven-day shoot in April, three-day shoot in August. We had SAG actors. We rented $200,000 worth of film equipment. We had production insurance. So it was a huge step and there was a film that I tried to do in the middle called Among the Dead. Kind of the the wrongs of that helped me get my head straight for dead weight and Adam and I work really well together and we're also really good at not taking no for an answer. So whenever we were presented something that just kind of was a hurdle, we were able to overcome that together. The only person John has ever said no to is me. <laughs> I think that's an amazing statement of just about how tough being creative is. Something that did work out is the amazing performance of Joe Belknap and I heard a really vicious rumor Joe that this was actually your first job acting ever. It's true. <laughs> Knowing that I could trust them, John had done his short film, Adam runs his own music label. These are guys that, you know, hi, you're cool. When they said they were going to do this, I knew I could trust them. We just started working early on knowing that I didn't have any experience. And then filming, I mean, primarily a lot of what we did was just outside. Uh, you know, it's a survivor story, so we're in dirty clothes and we're tired and we're hungry. Um, and that was all real, so that helped a lot. <laughs> Amazing job. Actually, from all of you. I mean, the film is a slow build. It really hits you, and uh, you definitely need to check it out. Where can they check it out at, guys? We have it for sale online right now at our website, carryingdeadweight.com. You can also see trailers, tons of behind-the-scenes photos and some stills, and there's a link there to our blog where we documented the entire production process. All sorts of fun info at carryingdeadweight.com. And you know what? I think we have to do one last thing before we say goodbye. Oh. Lift. <laughs> What's going on? The <laughs> Big Horror Fan saying, Sweet Love and Pink Row, this film is worth getting knocked on your ass and falling on your head for. Check it out! <laughs>